the Holy Divine in uh, uh, Greece. <coughs> X English man and living abroad. <coughs> and he um, uh, did an excellent job. Thank you, Andy, for the Zoom hearing. So now I can talk directly to whoever I want to, one on one or one on two at the most. One on two, maybe one on three, but normally one on one. So I've got Zoom hearings every day um, and I'm going to try and make them at uh, 7 p.m. London time, which is 6 a.m. New Zealand time. For me, that uh, means that I get enough sleep and uh, I won't be drained out uh, when I go online. Okay, so that's that. I'll just hang on. I'm just going to, I think we do. I'll just go here for a minute. It won't be a sec. I'll be back in a sec. I'm just going to do a little job. sit here and wait for Charlie and possibly um, here there's my earphones it's two more minutes two more minutes to go to wait for um, Danny Nuttall he comes on but he's going to tomorrow, then Jenny Duckle from uh, Minark, M-Y-N-A, Accounting in Britain, um, is coming on tomorrow, on going on to his Zoom meeting, and uh, um, what time was that? I think that was 1 p.m. meeting, um, no, sorry, not 1 p.m., with Anyway, that's um, um, Jamie Nuttall is tomorrow, and possibly um, James K with him. Hopefully, I can bring him in as well for crypto. Minor accountants, uh, the crypto accountants in London, and uh, tonight um, at seven. PM uh, London time. We've got Charlie um, um, Charlie Charlie Where is he? Charlie Dellingpole. Charlie Dellingpole. Uh, he's the uh, um, works for um, the the Deck collectors um, comply advantage um, in London. He's got offices in uh, America and uh, two offices somewhere else. else. So that's six o'clock there on the mobile. And uh, I'm just waiting for um, Charlie. Charlie. Getting pole to come on if he wants to. Uh, it might might not be appropriate um, for him to come on to my Zoom 
but that's okay, I can fill in the time and uh, go on to their Zoom um, when I can, but I've been trying to find a link where to go on to one of the platforms that he goes on to and uh, FinTech, Fin, Fin, something, Fin something, anyway, I'll wait <coughs> for him for a while and just carry on talking and hopefully he might come on, I don't, I'm not expecting him to come on, really, because they're busy people and they've got big business and I'm just a startup uh, company in uh, uh, London with the My Powerhouse Group Limited company there that I've had to re-register <coughs> and fire up with uh, uh, Jamie uh, Nuttall and uh, hopefully with um, um, Charles um, Billy giving his name. Billing Billing Pole. Dilling Pole. Dilling Pole. So uh, Charles Dilling Pole or Charlie as his name is on his email. And I've just sent him another invite onto the Zoom. And hopefully he's got it. And uh, um, may by a stroke of luck come on, but however, we'll, we'll soon see if he wants to come on or not, or if Jamie Nuttall wants to come on, or James K wants to come on, but if not, that's okay, because I'll just keep talking and uh, um, just uh, update what's going on on my website. You'll see all the videos there of them. Um, James K with his videos, I've watched them all on his Coinly um, um, crypto website okay, Coinly C-O-I-N-L-Y Coinly and very good man to um, teach the tutors um, uh, accounting for um, crypto currencies and um, crypto industry of money transfer system and banking and accounting he sets it up for Jamie um, Jamie Nuttall the accountant uh, firm Mina M-Y-N-A in London so we've got an accountant there and a, um, um, a pre pre preparatory um, crypto um, company um, Coinly um, and that works hand in hand to tutor or mentor me because I wouldn't have a clue on <coughs> accounting for uh, crypto or the British system updated because I know the old British system but it's the new one that's going digital crypto and it's still got the cash pound note, the one bar pound note. So there, that's that. And I'm just checking a bit on the laptop that's going so I can record this afterwards. That's better, I can get a bit of sound. And I've put the boost on, sharing the boost site on the video so it should go loud. I'm just learning how to do the zoom and do the controls and everything so I know what to do now and uh, prepare myself for uh, other Zooms that um, um, webinars um, with um, James K and uh, <coughs> Jamie Nuttall just briefly while they've got three hour long consultation or I'm getting 30 minutes of bite um, size information from them and um, that's to uh, let our people in New Zealand and Pacific Islands Polynesian people in particular uh, know how to set up your know, crypto system go to our website moai powerhouse dot world m o a i 
P O W E R H O U S E dot world W O R L D and when you get that up and put that into Google and the Google sites will come up Moai Powerhouse and click on the one that says Moai um, uh, Confederation uh, Moai Confederation click on that it's the third I think from the top uh, on Google when you open Google or just open the first one and then select um, Confederation Sovereigns that page and then scroll to the bottom of that and there you will see the latest updates on how to teach yourself from those videos I put there on the crypto world and uh, accountants and also um, people that are in the know in the British Crown Law of England system so the, that's quite different to the US um, federal government in America and what they do with their crypto is not the same rules as England and Westminster Parliament rules of crypto is quite different and uh, um, I'm saying this it's only my own opinion and nothing that I say is of advice to anybody um, that's um, uh, doing crypto and for me to say anything about crypto I'm consulting uh, with the experts one-on-one -on -one with zoom hearing if they don't come on my zoom I'll go on to their zoom like I'm going on to Jamie um, Nuttall uh, tomorrow um, Thursday our time and Wednesday their time <coughs> at um, 9 o'clock their time and 7 p.m. our time tomorrow I'll be on with Jamie Nuttall the expert for minor M -R -M -Y -N -A, M -Y -N -A accountant for crypto the crypto specialist and he's very good at um, giving us some insight into how crypto is going to be taxed on your personal income which is crypto <coughs> in the British system is uh, if you make a tax gain or profit profit on your buying and selling your crypto it's considered to be taxable income personal property and so forth carbon credits things like that and anything that's worth of value that you buy and sell will be cast similar to the US federal government and their system the only difference is if you've got Bitcoin in Britain it will be taxed on the crypto system there under the new law crypto law 1st of September 2024 that's um, um, made rulings, new rulings in Westminster Parliament that all crypto currencies including Bitcoin is taxable income if you make a profit. If you make a 10x, 100x, 1000x, a million x profit on, on your buying low and selling high then you will create um, income <coughs> or um, or tokens of value money in pound notes in Britain and it won't be recognized from US uh, government and their crypto system that allows Bitcoin to be decentralized in Britain it is centralized government controlled and in America Bitcoin is still going to be decentralized with the old fiat pound fiat US dollar still in existence when they were replacing it with the new ripple net uh, currency or the grayscale currency and run by trust tokens and that's all a jumble 
mumble there, and but they still got the trust, one of the trust companies, that 16 trusts of, um, of Grayscale trusts as being um, Bitcoin, AI, Ripple, money, transfer system. That's the money cash conversion is going to still be handling fiat dollar, US dollar currency and that's with um, Michael Saylor's Bitcoin is going to remain decentralized there as it's got its own law and the US federal government has allowed a decentralized coin token to be exempt from being taxed you see so that's not fair on tax people taxing people in America but in Britain you get taxed and in America you don't get taxed or the way I see it my own opinions on Bitcoin which they are using as one of their token trusts. See, the trust makes the money out of tokens going through <coughs> the crypto um, software company, Bitcoin, to flush itself of all its commitments to paying tax. See, that's no good. That is one-sided for millionaires and billionaires club that they can get away with it and not the ordinary taxpayer is going to get screwed. Okay, so that's what I'm saying there. There's something wrong with that system and I'm waiting for the British to do something with it. The British Crown is state that has control over all corporations in the world with our King William IV corporate flag on dry land law of England over the British law over the American law that stood on the baby's bottle to the British Crown estate business. See, so America was born from King George III, the father of King George IV, King William IV, and King Ernest Augustus I. The three brothers that I'm surrogate for those three brothers and surrogate for Queen Victoria. I'm speaking for those three monarchs that got their coronations legitimately, not illegally like Queen Elizabeth and the Rothschilds. It was illegal and wasn't put through Parliament properly. It was fake, and everything that happened from that fake in 1837 was still a fake all the way through to the corrupted U.S. money system of fiat that's made out of thin air. They took the gold out of it to back it up with real gold value and made paper money and rolled the paper money out, the U.S. dollar is thin air, nothing to hold it up. Now they're, they're getting the 16 trusts with their Ripple Net bank currency, new US dollar with the old fake money laundering Phoenix activity fiat money to back it up as a token, to back up their new currency system which makes it poison all the way through and corrupted and virus all the way through from Queen Victoria 1837 after King William IV died it went corrupted after that and the Westminster legislated through Parliament 
Queen Victoria Inn when it's supposed to be King Ernest Augustus the first brother to keep the line of sovereignty straight, unbroken, all the way back to King William the First, um, William the Conqueror, the French man, and it came through under the crown then, the British crown, estate, uh, wealth, to King William the Third. 1689 War Powers Act to protect our contract with King William the Third with New Zealand. His partner Zealand, New Zealand, is Dutch. So that Dutch king, William the Third, founded New Zealand and East Island Rapa Nui as the birth of the well there, okay? And the Moai statues were standing up, right? And he acknowledged them as the navel of the world, or in fact, the birth of the earth planet with those Moai statues, that the Freemasons took those as being anything stone is solid as a rock memorial to the documents. Okay, so those were King William the Third's memorials and those Moais that Queen Victoria stole with the Topaz um, Navy ship from Rapa Nui and brought them to England and put it in the, hid it away for a hundred years and then Queen Elizabeth brought it out and stuck it in the, in the museum as her memorial title to her Queen's Crown estate, to Queen Victoria estate, right? So Queen Victoria stole the, the Moai statue in 1868 and took it to England and claimed my DNA, the Wano Royal Tahitian Families Memorial to our island there and these islands here in New Zealand, Ulster, North Island, New Zealand, Munster, South Island, New Zealand, and <coughs> Leinster and Stewart Island as um, the three islands of Ireland and only our, um, Ulster Northern Ireland was British. The Southern Ireland was not. And so that's our connection to King William the Third and the Eight Point Star of St. Patrick's Church that I went to Northern Ireland, Belfast and Down Patrick to unveil St. Patrick's and his church stone memorial gravesite to claim his title. Is where he's buried. That's the title. Not when he was born in Italy, Rome. He's born there, but died on Irish soil land because he went there to help the poor people. Now that's the richest country in the world, using his name and his eight-point star that King William the Third created the eight-point star for Saint Patrick, and that's what's on our flag four of those eight point stars in the corner representing north, east, south, west of the world and the Maui statue is the other memorial the birth of the world and that's my title to Polynesia and Tahiti to Aotea New Zealand Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited registered company here worth 17 trillion that was stolen and I meant to talk to Charlie tonight uh, in London 7 p.m. but he's not here that's okay I know he's busy so I can go on the fintech site <coughs> that he went on uh, with one of those reporters and um, talk to them Okay, I'll talk to them and
put um, a free consultation there. I'm trying to bring them into my Zoom so that I can talk face to face as being me and you are partners in a commercial contract that's still fixed in statute law in Westminster Parliament on England's soil native land. They are native, I'm native here, and we are still locked in a marriage. And the flag of Britain and our British flag with the eight point star in the four corners and the Red Cross of St Andrews, England is British King's flag, the corporation flag of 1835 and also the Municipal Corporations Act with the eight point star to pick the lease of the land up for the whole world. And we've got our lease here that Eddie Mitchell and his Mitchell Family Trust have stolen off me and my brain and the Mitchell brain is going to pay the bill to recover it to Charlie. He's the expert on that subject because he's got 15 million people like Eddie Mitchell that he'll go after and they can bust into any computer software. Okay, they have the means of decoding crypto and especially fraud. Okay, they're trying to stamp down on assets slipping through the tax department's hands that's covered in fraudulent tokens. The tokens have to identify what it is. In the British system, in the American system, you don't have to. You can go blind and not have to open up your books for Bitcoin. It's not opening its books to see where the money is gone to so that the US federal government can tax you but then you're screwing the citizens of America by not being transparent. Bitcoin and Michael Saylor, you've got a bill on your head from me in Britain. That's my corporation flag title I'm talking about. You get the bill because if you don't tell your royalties to the British Crown system as I see it, my own opinions, of law because I don't know everything. I do know law of natives, <coughs> but I'm trying to interpret it for every other native in their native land to protect what is being raped, pillaged, and bastardized on L-O-R-E, law of truth, me and you, is the law I'm talking about without writing. It's a video, one-on-one -on -one video, or in person, on the marae, or anywhere, at the beach or anywhere, I talk to you, and I've got it on camera. Okay, so it means this, that Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all those companies, Microsoft, and all that, cannot use my videos for their ownership, because I'm talking King Empress talk as the surrogate to speak for the kings and for Queen Victoria and who corrupted her coronation to put themselves self-interest and greed over her monarch crown system and success from ancestor to descendant transfer of wealth of the British Crown, then they've stolen it out of there and took it to Frankfurt, Germany. Who did that? Queen Elizabeth did that. She did that and then went to die in Scotland to try and hold the British together as she died there. And that her keeps and retains her memorial to the land in Scotland. Well, Scotland sold their selves and their souls out to the Crown Estate of Britain and cleaned themselves out and took the money and put it on the blockchain. That's my assumption and my own opinion that they've robbed you taxpayers of
that wealth in the Crown Estate. So I've got a <coughs> Moai Crown King William IV Trust Estiat to go right over the history of a timeline of events from king to king to king to king to queen Victoria and stops right there when she went into Parliament in 1837 with a true coronation. Queen Elizabeth II never had a real coronation. It was fake. It's not true. And it was not true from then on. In 1837, she gets the bill and everybody in that corporate system and the Bank of England. Okay? So it follows you around. The disease virus follows you around. The fraud follows you around. And you can see it hyped up in America. Those are the ones that got kicked out of England. And there they are going to town, the same as Eddie Mitchell over here in New Zealand. He went to town too with the 17 trillion that came out of my head. And he ran with it with a Freemason and a barrister. And they get liable for working with Eddie to steal my information and technology and also intellectual property, okay? My patent property in our native magistrate King's Bench Court. They have violated our court. That court is real, that's what I say, and uh, we'll soon see how real the 17 trillion is when Charlie goes after it because it owes royalties to the British Crown, and it is under New Zealand with the American Crown. They've gone with the WEF, the UN, the WHO, the World Bank, the uh, federal government in America, the um, IMF, there with Rosie Rios, director, of Ripple Net and director of <coughs> the IMF World Bank. She's the director and she sunk in 1.8 trillion of her own US dollars, fake dollars, into there to bang their own private shares up. And they have an exclusive share system to themselves in the Ripple and they leave the 16 trusts for all the other token holders with the little bit of crypto, bits and pieces, just like fragments of, and they've got the big coins, the single big coins in the 100,000 and so forth, and they're going to make trillions out of their big ones and overpower everybody else. Well, the law wins. The law versus the law. The British Crown Estate Law versus the American, which has no crown to go on because they haven't got a confederation of chiefs flag or a corporation flag. They've only got a flag that's come out of their head from Britain. They're still running a British American flag. And they've got the authority from here, Waitangi, and that lot of Maoris up there in Park Hills and their Governor General is liable to, with the 970 million trillion trillion pound note on their head, because I've said it a million times on video affidavits, like this is an affidavit, like as if I'm running a court, because I am. Okay, whatever I say on the video is evidence that what I say is the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God in the Church of England, and the St. Patrick Church and our own Tikanga law in Raiatea Island, Tapatapu Atea Marae, and also at Anakena Marae, and uh, on East Island, or Rapa Nui, there, to Mokonui, big face, at the East Cape Tripito there, birth of New Zealand, the first light in the world, the sun rises first there in the world, closest distance, physical distance, to the sun is there, right on our land block. And that's the navel here, 
there and the law of Maui there fixed to me Rapata uh, Ka and uh, Pare Rivers there. That's us three upholding the Maui statue there to Mo from Mokonui, big face, that's what it means, to Rapanui, big shine. 12 midday, up in the Milky Way, and the woman birth on Anakena Marae with all the statue chiefs standing there, stone, memorial to God, the creator, or Atua. The God word God is corporate. And Atua is our spirit God, right to Makemake planet, the brown dwarf planet out there, where the Pope is going to try and steal that lot. The American Brown, Professor Brown, has already stolen it. It's not his. So he gets that bill on his head, 970 million trillion trillion pound land, land warrant, debt, payable, and also indicted for stealing my property of my ancestors. Okay? You don't go around thieving this and that like Eddie Mitchell in Hamilton. Go and steal information that his brain, his Mitchell family come from England, got booted out of there to Australia as prison convicts. Then came from there on their Queen Victoria title from there to here. Second hand title from there to set up New Zealand at Waitangi. That's that crown that they can't hook themselves to Westminster. No record. There's no record of it in the British Parliament from Maori. See, the word Maori is for Maori because it came out of their head. The professors did that. Okay, all the professors here like Hugh Kafru and Rarawa Kohere at the East Cape and a few other ones. Waikere Puru in down in Wanganui. I used to be with him all the time in Auckland when I was in the, on the waterfront living. I used to meet him all the time to go and have a sit down in the paddock and talk and telling him, oh, this is how you do it, like this. And I'm still talking the same, like back then, like now. Okay, all those chiefs that have died, I've got it up here. I've carried the weight of those ancestors who didn't know a fucking thing about Freemasonry that got the certificate of title to transfer their native land into the British Crown in Westminster and all the other native lands that were colonized with the same 1862 Westminster British Crown Native Act. You know where they came from? Here. Refa Refa Manukau. And his 11th of November, November 1862 Native Land Act from the east coast of North Island New Zealand to the west coast of North Island New Zealand. That was his name on that title with Clendon. Okay, the magistrate. That's the one I'm doing. I'm there as Clendon's replacement in the court and Rogan, judge in Helensville, Awador Magistrate Court and the Awador Bank there. That was the bench bank or that court hearing there, here in courthouse, is still, the paddock is still empty with nothing on it and it's still got Mohi Manikar's name on it. The paramount chief that died and left me his Freemason 50 years legacy to carry on for him to get our country and the land back. See, it's in the Rogan name. All his Manukau lands got transferred into the Rogan that married Mariah Manukau and screwed the whole of the Paramount Chief's land off him. But the titles are still there. I've got all those titles in the Kaipara and up north and east coast and all over the place. I was working in the Maori Land Court in Odahu or in Papatoitai on Coma Road. It was there with uh, Mana um, Te Kanawa running the Maori Land Court. I learnt a lot about Maori Land. There 
So there's nothing I don't know about land and the native title there in the Maori land court. So, how did you get your Maori land? Was from the native land title transfer from Lefere for Manukau and Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau's land lease, 1823. Okay, with King George IV. That is the lease contract to the land of New Zealand, which Eddie Mitchell assessed at 17 trillion with his Freemason. And I say, no, that's not the right figure. I'll put the figure on it. 970 million trillion trillion pound note. And you know how much Moa is worth? More than anything. That's where the biggest cost is, screwing my Tahitian royal family's memorial to make money out of it. And that's going to cost you because France prints one, America prints one in New York, and um, Germany, and a few other countries, Singapore, and it goes on, the list goes on. They stole the Moai, the real Moai, for good luck and wealth and prosperity. That's why they pinched it. And everybody else's memorial, they stole them as well in the pyramid. The white man stole them. The white man is the Bible and the church. The church, the Catholic Church and the Church of England, they screwed the people and put the collection plate out to gather money and then made money from the tax write-off or tax evasion with the government to not have to pay tax as a charitable organisation to feed the poor that can't talk for themselves. I'm there to talk for all the poor people that got screwed by Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth and now Charlie getting screwed by the Rothschild Bank and I'm going in with the Santander Bank to use that British bank as the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Bank and our pound note, the two bar pound notes going in there. Okay, printed by Delaru, the pound note printing machine. Okay, so there, just to let you know that I'm for real. I'm for real, and if anybody's brave enough to talk to me, then that's who I am. God, the truth and nothing but the truth. So, there, the truth prevails, okay? The law, L-O-R-E, versus the law, L-A-W, okay? The L-A-W, money law, and the L-O-R-E, spiritual law, mouth to mouth, face to face. That's the law, that's God's gold, and God's earth, and God's air, and God's water, and God's trees and fish and everything else he created for freedom of everybody's use and not for one particular tribe or family or organization that wants to take the whole world over that's not how he wanted it and i'm speaking for our atua and our moai power of spirit is talking through me as the surrogate of our Moai statue, okay? That's East Island and me at the East Cape, 6 a.m. in the morning, first sun, 6 p.m. in Africa, Ghana, on the beach, Phoenix Hotel. That's 6 p.m. there, and it's the same time 6 p.m. on the same latitude in London. So 6 p.m., 6 a.m. at the East Coast, and 12 midday on East Island, Rapa Nui, is a perfect triangle, a perfected title to this Earth planet and the fourth mirror image in Pakistan at midnight. is a perfect square inside a circle of light. Okay, so that's the Moai's title to his planet Earth. And if anybody's got anything better than that, that can line up like that in the history, then I can't see it for commercial money-making ventures. Okay? And forget about the Pope. He stole all those memorials underneath the Vatican. They're going back to their native 
landowners when we get this native title sorted and then each native country gets their sovereignty and their memorials back and all will be peaceful and restored. At the moment it's just one carnage and, and um, um, colonised um, um, history will be parked up when everybody gets their stolen property back. Okay, so there you go. That's what I want to say. What's the time now? It's 6.40. I'll just carry on going until um, I finish this uh, sector and then I can try again. I'll be on with um, Jamie um, Nuttall tomorrow on his um, uh, his 9 a.m. when he starts work on his Zoom and it will be our um, what time is our 6 a.m. I think in the morning and his 9 um, no 8 p.m. here I think it is and his 6 uh, 7 and uh, sorry 9 a.m. work start um, as offices open on his Wednesday and our Thursday at 8pm um, in the evening I think it is, something like that and <coughs> 7 or 8pm in the evening anyway <coughs> it'll be recorded I hope this recording comes out because it's on the laptop and the sound should come out on the desktop should be clearer so I'll test it out afterwards to see if it worked so I'm still getting used to how to use the zoom and I might have done something wrong because if they can't if uh, Charlie um, Charlie um, Charlie Billingpole couldn't get on it's because I might have not done it properly but I'm learning and that'll be the second um, you zoom hearing that I'm doing myself and the rest of 61 zoom the nature of magistrate King's Bench Court hearings was with Andy Devine in Greece screening from Greece with the flag behind himself promoting the King William IV 1835 um, Constitution flag of New Zealand and also the Municipal Corporations Act flag 1835 of King William IV and he's done a good job right till now and uh, but it's getting right to the bones now of law and that's something I need to talk to the right people that know what they're doing instead of talking amongst ourselves and nobody knows the only way is to go straight to those people and say I'm this and I'm that I do this and I do that it's all I until it's we so only I can do it not we can do it because nobody in the we knows what to say as a king or surrogate for someone in Britain that's dead and left a legacy behind that's good and a legacy of bad behind that's bad right now in the wars comes from Westminster Parliament the wars come from there not so much America but America is trying to be themselves without Britain they're saying we don't need you Mr. Big Daddy we are the Big Daddy in America so their mouth is getting a bit big and they are bragging a lot until their law backfires on them when the people revolt and the other countries in BRICS are getting bigger and bigger to swallow them up and win by law not by guns that's the American way is by guns that's all they know in their brain bang bang that song bang bang okay so that's war caused by our King William IV flag that this government over here in New Zealand gave it to the Queen who gave it to Americans to make war shit and trouble for the people and make chaos out of our flag all your law in America
America comes from our flag on dry land. The law at Waitangi on the dry land, but changed it to a whakaputanga that made the war. The Confederation flag doesn't make war. The same flag doesn't make the war. It's Cindy Kiro and her Governor General title with her crown as her flag of New Zealand, gazetted by this corrupted government in New Zealand, and they've got their own Cindy Kiro Japanese Maori flag and a crown on their head as the owner, the legal owner of New Zealand. I say, no, no, get out of the way. I'm here to go right over your little playtime pretend government and put real law from Britain straight on your head. Okay, anybody playing around with our contract with Westminster, you get the pound note on your head, okay? Just like Eddie Mitchell. He's got a pound note bounty on his head to Charlie Billing Pole and his crypto experts and technology and um, computer wizardry to go after anybody and break into their computers by law to find where you are, Eddie Mitchell, because he's got all the information from our website. It's fully disclosed, so you can't take it to court because anybody that tries, I'll throw them in the High Court Royals Building in London where I set that all up for any mischief Pirates on the high sea. That's all you are, Eddie Mitchell. Pirate on the high sea. And you're caught right out in front of the whole world watching this little show going on between all the hyped up fraud in America. That's what the CEO of um, JP Morgan Bank said. That's Jamie Dimon says, oh, Bitcoin is a hyped up fraud. And after saying that, I said, it's gone in my brain what he said. It's your mouth talking, and I use his video as an affidavit, and my video as an affidavit of truth, that what he said, I say, is the truth. And then he goes and buys the crypto, Bitcoin. Okay? So that's hypocritical of him to prop the bank up and tell everybody, don't buy Bitcoin, and it Everybody stopped buying Bitcoin, and he goes in and swoops it all up when the price is down. See? It's a scam. That's what I'm saying on this video. It's a Phoenix activity, money laundering scam of Queen Victoria and all the Rothschilds and all those families who have gone under that Queen title. Okay? And they put Charlie there as the next in line, then William, to try and steal our King William flag and steal the William the Conqueror title to the French and the Dutch title, try and steal it as the King William to William, him being William. No, he's German. He goes the other way, out the door and gone. That's what I'm there in Westminster for, to straighten out the British crown, okay? I'm there, I'm by right, a partner, a legitimate, legal, partner to Charlie Belling Pole, Jamie Nuttall, James Kay, and a few others. But those are the three main ones I'm dealing with that got brains. I got brains too, but I'm saying that's me, that's them talking to each other or I'm messaging backwards and forwards and they're not responded to my email to come on Zoom. That's fine. That's quite normal, because who would want to talk to a little boy like me, playing around over here, that's not known. You see, I'm not known anywhere in the big corporate world, but I'm holding the instruments to say that I do attend to anything in the Crown Corporation business with the flag as the right interpretation of 20 legal instruments inside that flag that Ngāpui and everybody flying it don't know that side of the law of Freemasonry. Okay, The Freemasons owns all the certificates to the lands around the world, but the King has the authority of Parliament and its Crown Corporation. 
in its crown estate business. What's it doing in Germany? What, why is it going to Germany from the land of England? The sovereign soil there with its international laws fixed in Westminster and stolen. That's been stolen just as much as Eddie Mitchell has stolen my information and stolen the land and everything on it by fraudulent instruments. Okay, I'm a contract instrument man. Okay, I'm dealing with commercial contracts and corporations with a corporation flag. The real dry land corporation flag of King William IV. Confederation of United Tribes of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Not the Aotearoa, not any other name of the name that the British hold. Okay? Nothing against Maori. You just have to work out your Maori problems yourself. Okay? All the ones who are Maori, you have to work out your contract agreement with Wellington and that New Zealand crown with a Japanese Maori crown corporation, private company and her flag of New Zealand, that's your business, Māori and Waitangi, over there, not Britain. You can't go there with me here to Britain direct into the law system because you people are not practising that law. You're practising your Māori Pākehā law in the Beehive Wellington. So you have to stay there and you're going to get billed from Westminster Parliament and that Crown Estate <coughs> for everything that's got stolen out of it, off that England soil sovereign land. Okay, I'm here for the New Zealand sovereign soil land and the whole Pacific Islands sovereign soil land where the colonised um, king and queen went to take over their lands and put it into the British Crown business. Okay, so I'm a businessman that's got a registered company here as the bank creditor. Okay, now to over our tier limited is the creditor of 17 trillion US dollars worth of equity stolen. So now all I have to do is prove that it's in fact stolen when they investigate it. So the Australian Banking Association failed to respond to me in my letters to them to investigate where that money's gone. They won't say nothing. Zip. And the Australian <coughs> um, legal system won't say anything either. The legal lawyers and that don't want to deal with it. See, why? It's out of their jurisdiction when I'm talking British. Right? They can only stick to the Australian and New Zealand law. <coughs> and that's got problems. That has huge problems, legal problems and legitimacy in whose crown business is it? Okay, which crown are they feathering their wealth to? Hmm? Who are they swearing their oath of office to? Is it Charlie or is it someone else? Or the Prime Minister of Australia or somebody else like the Governor General here in New Zealand. They swear their oath of office in the Parliament, in the Beehive of New Zealand, to Sinekira and not to Charlie in England. They swear their oath of office to Charlie in the courts here in New Zealand. Funny, eh? Funny how they swear to Charlie in the courts with a Maori and a, and a Queen Elizabeth up above the judge's head. What the hell are those doing there? She's gone, and that legacy is being taken over by Cindy Kira. Why isn't it Cindy Kira's head up there with her for a crown on her head that she borrowed from Westminster and put her on her head as if to say she can reach back into Westminster and say nothing about it? I'm saying things that are illegal, fraudulent, and committing crimes of church and state right in front of you people in New Zealand, okay? So she's got 970 million trillion trillion pound note on her head and it's gone through uh, Sky Nova, that's the British invoice company. You'll see the videos and you'll see the invoices on my page. That goes into the debt company. 
in this um, um, company Comply Advantage, and that's hooked up to Scarly in France in TagPay. That company there, you can never, ever, ever scan it like what American is doing in their crypto system get scammed left right and center because they left it so that it can get scanned so they can make money from the scam people as well and put them in their court and try them and make more money from the scam and steal all the scam money on top of it all the crypto that scam they get to keep okay Sam Bank Freeman that's um, that's stolen all the 50 billion um, money to claim the whole lot by SCAT meant documents that they can claim to uh, probate the whole lot into the Crown ownership. That's the Crown under the fraudulent Prince Charles or King Charles, the King, supposed to be the King, on the American documents. So I should ask the Americans, who do they swear their oath of office to over there? Is it to Charlie in Britain? Is it to Camilla? Is it to Biden? Is it to uh, whoever else there is? Camilla Harris, they might be swearing to her, or um, Black Lives Matter, or, <coughs> or the banks, or they're swearing their oath of office to the banks, and the WF, and Rosie Rios, the director that's got 1.8 trillion she says she's the richest person in the world. No, Eddie Mitchell is richer than her. He's got 17 trillion of real estate all over Australia. He got more than her, and he could. In, he's got investment companies there. I'm taking the whole lot over. Okay, that's my job: mortgage broker, <coughs> and um, and and assignee, assignee to go and pick up the stolen property. Okay, and cost me less if it going to be less if I, uh, if I can get this through Britain and the right people to deal with, then it'll work because they get a percentage out of 17 trillion royalties from the stolen 17 trillion that he's got. See, it's not over yet. I don't give up easy and I'm, my trade is a mechanic. I'm an A-grade diesel, petrol, pneumatic and, and uh, uh, gas um, um, uh, certificate holder of gas powered vehicles to convert them to gas that's why I've gone into the hydrogen turbine the paint turbines that pump out the hydrogen liquid fuel and rocket fuel on the bridge okay so that's a big project that's going to go worldwide and hard to compete with that and uh, I'm getting it through to the Westminster Parliament when I get this going with the accountant, Jamie Nuttall. When he gets it sorted, the value of it, he'll value it, he'll see all the figures that Eddie has got. See, Eddie, you've done all the dirty work. I'm doing all the clean work with all that you stole, and I'm taking it over with the experts from Britain. Okay, you watch what's going to happen to you and your trust, your... Mitchell Family Trust is going to go bankrupt. You're all going to get bankrupt and go and live in a hut somewhere. Go back to Australia and try and live over there. With those people over there want your hide as well. Okay? You owe people because that money you stole, the 17 trillion, belongs to all the people native born on this land in New Zealand. And you, little fucker, pinched the whole bloody lot and stole public money. And you are of public interest, someone of interest. And the police covered you up, the army covered you up, and dare I say, um, 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 Vaitu is an army man that I was hoping would help me out, but he don't. Just same as Graham Allen up in Browns Bay, the private investigator wouldn't do anything until he got paid. Well, I didn't have any money to pay him, but the claim of 17 trillion is worth it. Why did he turn it down? And why did the, the lawyers in Australia turn it down except one lawyer there? I'm just going after that lawyer and see if he'll do it. But I don't have to if I go through um, Nuttall 
um, Jamie Nuttall and uh, <coughs> Charlie, Charlie and Billington, Billing Paul, and to crack the code of finding somebody on computer electronics digital system of investigation. See, I'm an investigator of native title, but he's an investigator of crooks and wannabes and thieves, vagabonds and fraudulent misdemeanors and drugs and all that money that's laundered. That's what it is, laundered money, laundered money. Washed up in Singapore, that's what he did. Wash the money up in Singapore, then put it in Australia as if it's clean. No, it's putty putty, dirty. It's dirty money. That's how the um, fraud people say that that are money launderer experts to recover debt and even shares that went pear shaped. They can go after it and treat it as a loss against your profit. So it's not all over until. They can do it. Uh, James K can set you up on his computer that deals with crypto and um, very methodical to find out whether you can claim a loss against your profit and your, what you've lost in, in, in crypto or Bitcoin or any crypto on the stock market and you've got ripped off and, uh, um, because it's not fully disclosed on tokens. The tokens in America are not fully disclosed. You don't know what it is, but they've got 16 trusts to separate the trust into tokens that convert those tokens into the Ripple Bank of, of Grayscale um, into Ripple Net Bank. That's the central bank of America. That's hiding all the fraud inside it and I'm there to open its books and expose where things are going because if they make a lot of money out of crypto and don't disclose the profits of the British law to pay royalties for the use of the High Court law and the Supreme Court law of America comes from Westminster Big Daddy if you don't pay the royalties for income and not disclosing um, um, invasive tax and um, um, fraudulent uh, misdealings of transferring money, then you're going to answer to the British court. New law on crypto. They're very stringent and I'm sticking to that. Okay, I'm going to learn how to do it so that I can go past a hundred years old with it still ringing in my head okay so there that's all i can say for now because it's now 708 and i started at 6 a.m so that's a little over an hour and i think that um what else can i say um that um uh, my zooms are only one-on-one -on -one directly to someone who's talking about their trade. So I'm a tradesman, engineer, um, and, um, and um, um, builder, um, concreter builder, and also real estate. And um, 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 I had a garage business as well to convert cars to CNG and LPG. Now I'm on to the hydrogen manufacture, bulk hydrogen energy with the turbine, the big turbine that nobody's got yet and nobody will ever do. And um, I'm going to start that project straight away when Charlie tells me that I've got a valid case to, for him to take on to recover all those properties and keep them going. All those properties and all those people who run those businesses and they're all on my website you can see them press the number on the left side and you'll see what the money's gone for that Eddie has spent and it says investment trust and this and that and that where it's gone to 
and uh, he could have gone and bought one property for 500 billion just like that the whole place on the beach and the whole buildings the more the lot with the money that's sort of 17 trillion bucks worth so I'm going to hedge fund that to put it into each of 257 countries and roll it and keep it rolling to borrow the bank's money the Santander Bank of England not the Bank of England the Santander Bank of England where our bank will be new with the My Powerhouse Group Limited Company reinstated as a new company and it costs money in court hearings to do to redo the old company and so that I'll just make a new one and out of the old one and start the shares off again see so there's a billion shares there off the parent company company here now Akiwai Wa Aote Limited in New Zealand registered is one of a trillion shares and out of that a billion goes to each of 257 countries and when that runs out we just chuck another billion in each country and the chip coin the pound note chip coin is going to rise in succession to the US when theirs go up a thousand percent the Moai one the pound note goes up the same as the US dollar so it keeps ahead of them way ahead of them and and, and a cap on of 970 million trillion trillion pound note they've got a two trillion cap over there that's as far as they can go they're just little skinny little little bit like that but we're going right to 970 million trillion trillion pound note you'll never get there because it's a long way out but that's our figure that's our figure you have to pay the debt on that with all the stolen wealth of the British crown and the kings I just said. So we've got four trusts versus the grayscale 16 trust ripple. Ripple net is the money, is ripple net. And their director, Rosie Rios of ripple net and ripple and XRP and all those grayscale um, trusts. She controls all of that and the IMF and the bank, the World Bank in America. She's got this pound note greenback on her head to pay it. She's going to pay it by <coughs> laying debt instrument and injectment on her head because her face is in our court now on videos. Okay, your video with your face saying you're the richest person in the world is a statement you make in your fraud US dollar that's not real it's come out of a fake one bar unpatented pound note in Britain so that's fake all the way it's got a trail of destruction and war all the way through because our flag was a flag to stop war and to stop anyone interfering with our contract with Britain. That's our Confederation of Chiefs 1835 Constitution of New Zealand flag and also the Municipal Corporation Act flag of Britain to collect all the rent in the world, all the lease land, just like how I've done. I've done ours and when I do Americas I'll assess <coughs> with Jamie Nuttall how much your GDP and your economy and the wealth worth value of America then drop the big green pound note on it as you gotta pay it with your wealth and everything that is owned will be owned by the British Crown and me and my Tahitian royal family and the Moai statue and all the people in the Polynesian islands of Tahiti, Hawaii, Samoa Tonga, all those countries that are in the Pacific and Niue and Norfolk Island and Australia, all the people in the Pacific that's tied to us here in New Zealand as our neighbours. They are in this as native sovereigns of their native land underneath this title that I'm putting together to take their stolen wealth back 
and put it in the British Crown and give it back to you as dividends of the Moai Powerhouse Company in London. Okay? So that's how it works. And we've got four companies, um, uh, four companies to go up against Ro Ro Rosie Rios and um, Camilla Harris and uh, uh, Donald Trump and uh, Joe Biden and all those <coughs> um, World, World Bank, there, IMF, WHO, WEF, UN um, Council, uh, NATO, and EU Parliament, and the UK Parliament. You've got this green back on your heads because the committed crimes started from 1837. Queen Victoria. Okay, it started from there when it didn't get the royal assent on the one bar pound note. And we've got the two bar Patterson pound note, and that's got the royal assent to print it against all your debts. And our credit company, bank creditor, is my crown King William the Third Trust. 1689 to 1694, Bank of England Act, 1694, Municipal Corporations Act, and the Bill of Rights Act, 1694, and the Two Bar Pound Note Act of King William III, Dutch man, and then that's that trust, the Moai Crown King William III Trust, Royal Assignee, Bank Creditor, and the next second business trust is the Moai Crown King George the Fourth Trust, the 1823 Native Land Lease of New Zealand, Paramount Chief Tera Waikato Whareherehe Manukau, Native Land Owner, Leaseholder of that 17 trillion. Jack Edie Mitchell, Australia, born man, or from there, his family, the Mitchell family, stole, is under that crown debtor business trust. The Moai Crown King George the Fourth Trust, and that's the one I'm going to use for up against all other corporations in the world on lease land. Okay, and that includes America. You've got Rosie Rios and her <coughs> Grayscale Trust, 16 of them, against that Moai Crown King George the Fourth Trust and its chip coins against your Bitcoin and your crypto with our crypto in Britain, two bar, two bar patented pound note legitimacy and our. Moai memorial to the documents I do that fixes that law to King George IV of Cambridge and uh, England to Cambridge in Arapuni and um, Pungapunga Marae. Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau and uh, Maungatauturi Mountain, his par site on top there, is the native title to New Zealand, the rock at Punga Punga Marae, or they call it Pohara Marae, but the rock there is the memorial to King George the Fourth and Te Waikato, the Waikato River, and his Manukau name, the Manukau Harbour, and the Manukau, in all the treaty claims, refer to the Manukau Harbour, where they slip their wakas into it. Okay, so that's that trust, bank creditor, <coughs> And also the Moai Crown King William the Fourth Trust and the 1835 Constitution Act flag, the Municipal Corporations flag, 1835 Act of the Municipal Corporations Act of all corporations in the world. That's that flag. It's not a whakaputanga flag to go to Britain to claim Estiat line of descent of kings to the Crown Estate business. No, the Whakaputanga is the Crown in Wellington. That's their title. 
to that flag that's been copied and bastardized and interpreted as a different legacy of Crown Corporation. That's not the real corporation flag. The real corporation flag is the flag that Andy's flying in Greece on his Zoom hearings and the flag that I fly on our hearings as well, on the documents. The Confederation of the United Tribes of Aotearoa New Zealand, not Aotearoa, not any other name, this is the law of Westminster native soil land country. Okay, everything else is immaterial in law. The original court of record in Westminster Whitehall, the memorials are there of all the kings and queens. Okay, that's what I go under. That and the Moai standings in London, that Moai memorial stone statue, that's my title right there to speak to you on this video affidavit as truth. God's truth, or Atua, up there, straight up. No church, no roof, just a bed of stones. That's it. Tapitopu Aotea Marae's got a bed of stones. That's what I'm going to put at Te Pito, at the East Cape, is a bed of stones for those people to come there to see the rising sun and the energy force that's come from East Island to the East Cape. The tidal energy in the Ranfurly Bank out there is that energy I'm talking about in the sea. The power of God, almighty creator of heaven and earth. That's a real story I'm telling here in this affidavit. Okay? Chew on that one, if you like. If you don't like it, that's fine. You can have your stories. You can have your marriage stories. And nothing wrong with that. It's been a change in, in evolution of Papa history and all those things changed to go the Pakia way in the West, in the government in Wellington. That's got nothing to do with Westminster. That's come out of their head. Those marriages in there, like Shane Jones, talking it up out there in, on the video, saying he's promoting what he's doing now as a new Shane Jones, Maori. That's a Maori for you. Listen to what he's saying and see if it's genuine or Pākehā brain with a Māori skin. Okay, it's not real, people. What they do in Parliament, the AI, East State, Maui, Federal Republic Government of Aotearoa New Zealand can do a better job with the AI than that lot of monkeys in Wellington and him and all those Māoris in there and all the Māoris outside that work for that crown in Wellington and their Japanese Māori Governor General, that's got her own title, her own way. Well, I've got my own way too, Shane Jones. You better listen up, mate, because I'm talking law of my Rogan family, John Rogan, that put the first 10 acre block together at Helensville, a little bank, the first bank of New Zealand, then the BNZ Bank, then the League of Nations, then the World Bank came from there with the Freemason there and my brain and Mohi Manukau's brain. Put this all together and you can't match it with a Jones name. Where's your whakapapa to law in Britain where your Jones name would have come from? You can't do what I'm doing or can you do what I'm doing and claim the native title that Jones got here before the Wanoi. Okay? Okay, the spirit was here. And where did you come from? Over there. You came flying here on a boat under Admiralty Law of the Sea and jumped on my land and put your court up under the Freemasons in Kororareka. And the British shut it down and come to Helensville and put it up again and there they made all the titles for New Zealand and the whole fucking world over there the blueprint is in my brain with Moi Manukau and the Manukau chiefs Te Rawaikato Wharehehe Manukau Moriori and Rewharehe Manukau Moriori in my brain 
but it's written into British Crown law. And what's Cindy Kiro got to do with the British Crown law with a crown of her own over the top of Charlie that's in the courts on the documents as King Charles versus all the defendants and then the Queen Elizabeth and the Maori chief above the judge's head. What's in the judge's head? Hmm? Tell me that one, Train Jones. What are you bastards up to? And excuse my language, but that's what you talk like that to pirates. You're from pirate land. And you can go back in the sea where you come from and all the fish will be free from you and your corporate stance mouth. The mouth is no good because you're screwing the taxpayers of New Zealand with Winston Peters has sold us off. Right, he went to the, the UN and sold us off and wrote us off without mandating it here with the chiefs or anybody. He just went there and did it and he gets paid, he'll retire and have some part in the UN just like Helen Clark and got rubbish. Look, you're all going to get rubbish. The same as Jacinda Dern, she's got a place somewhere in that bloody lot of thuggery as well, but she's got the green power note on her head as well. For all the fraud and the sticking stuff that's gone and killed a lot of people, I'm calling them murderers, all of them. They are in complicit, they are complicit in the murder of innocent people, children and all sorts to make their business out of it. And I'm there to straighten all that out, to get it out of the road, because people want their country back with you bastards off it. Okay, now I call you bastards because that's what you are with your dirty mouth making policies that suit you, private corporation, than the people out here suffering and trying to make a living with crypto they don't understand and they're going to get milked some more on what you have milked already as corporate thugs and vagabonds in parliament and in the councils everywhere you are following the narrative of the World Economic Forum and Harari says you'll own nothing and be happy and you'll all get the stick in you to make you change your DNA into their property and you get electrocuted just like that and they'll stop your car, make you eat the dirty food that poison for you and who knows, I get sick from food and it's cheap but there's something in it that's making my stomach go haywire because I've got lots of pills given to me to offset it and that's more money in the drugs. It's a drugs sale, um, drug dealing business in the hospitals and in the doctor's um, department where you go and get a checkup and all that and they go after your birth certificate in the courts if you don't pay your rates you get a bill on your head like I've got one here for my car for speeding and I'll pay it anyway but I'll have something for that as well to put the bill on the head to pay my bill when I pay their bill. You've got to pay my bill. It's in the trillions. One trillion each. And someone like um, Jacinda Dern, John Key and uh, Cindy Kiro is no less than a thousand trillion on their heads or a hundred trillion on their heads and their crown is going to get sunk out of business because that's their bill. That's on the British crown Invoice company, ANX, used to be ANX, now it's Sky Nova. Okay, so there, they've got that, I'll just give that to Charlie and tell them, go and recover it and put it in there and make them pay up. If they don't, we'll just take the whole bloody lot of what they own. With those people with the photo in it, you get everything stripped off you because you broke our native law of the native land. Okay, you've got your own titles, we've got ours. They're British titles. Okay, that's all. I think I don't have to go on anymore because I'm just saying we've got our trust set up. They'll be registered in London 
but they've been sitting on my books for a long time. And I did register the company there, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, in London, but I had, didn't have enough money, only my pension to run it, and raised money for to get it going, but the trolls over there shut down my company, shut down my 407 um, Facebook sites, shut down my business, shut down my banks, shut down the airports from me going back to England. I can go back now there because the two years is gone and I can go back in there when I'm ready to go back to fix them up from doing that to me. Anybody that did that, those trolls, you got a trillion pound on your head might, then you're going to have to pay him. Cumberpatch and that other mongrel, those fellas that did that to me, you've got a bill on your head coming. Okay? And try and get out of that one. Never mind, I won't threaten nobody. I'm just saying it's out of my hands. It's into the experts' hands. Whether they want to do anything with it or not, it's going to be in the sky to see if they act on fraud. I'm saying everything I put online is fraud committed, crimes of church and state and crown agents and their other agents, corporations, okay? I'm in the corporate world with a corporate flag, treating the corporate flag as top of all corporations in the world with a king's corporation flag, okay? There, that's all. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. And I'll see if these videos come out and I'll put them up on my page, the website, and also on Facebook. And see if the, the laptop will come out, but I want to see if this um, um, desktop computer on Zoom will come out. Because it's gone over the half an hour. And like the last video I did, it went over the half hour, 30 minutes allowed. And Zoom has let me carry on and didn't cut it off because they usually will cut you off at 30 minutes is all I'm supposed to get. So I've gone for an hour and a half. The last one I did was two hours, I think it was, or it might be a little less. But anyway, it's um, I'll pay it one day as soon as I get familiar with the Zoom. They have plenty of practice. Then I can join and pay for webinars and for a longer period of time. But generally, I just need a short minute while I got for consultation with a new company in Britain and um, uh, to learn. The main thing is I'm trying to learn and train myself and Potter uh, Rivers and, and Rafa Takar um, who can learn as we go. We're in the same boat when it comes to crypto and accounting and um, so their families can pick it up as well. When we start getting somewhere soon, I'm expecting some good results from Britain because Australia is covering the fraud up, Singapore police and New Zealand police and the banks are covering Eddie Mitchell up and he's not going to get away with it. The army is covering him up because he had the army surveillance in the restaurant I went to and um, had meetings with him and his, uh, his army fellas there and on the camera the Chinese that owned the place had the place wired up so they can switch anybody's computer off or switch their mobile phones and jam my mobile phones up. I had one not on the internet filming and he jammed that up too. See, I'll show you the evidence one day when we get him into court in London. He's going to have to go to the court there in the Rolls building. I'll be there already to set it up to throw pirates in there like him. That's big cases that the British Crown have already tackled big cases. And he's one out of 50 million on Charlie um, Be 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 Belling po Poles um, list of um, crooked corporation um, white collar cr criminals. Okay, so Eddie is going to libel all of the Freemasons in the world. He's libeled the whole lot because they're all in the same game as him into people's money and banks and land and assets and children and all of that in the drug world and he's libeled the bar association the lawyers all all of the lawyers in the world on corporation 
on the Queen Victoria side and Charlie side and America side and Israel side and uh, Ukraine and all the countries that are on that side opposite BRICS. We're going with BRICS as security contract to look after our business because the British Army um, Armed Forces is gone into the EU Parliament. They've stolen that as well. So they've violated international law by making parliamentary law to legislate our protection with that flag we've got. The Confederation flag is a fixed statute law to keep our contract going with the Crown. So I'm saying we are there with the Crown and and those uh, native sovereigns that I'm talking to to uphold their end of the contract. So Andy, I'm just going to go with the lawmakers and the people in the law this time on Zoom and not to every Tom, Dick and Harry anymore because it goes right off the track of who corporations are, who's making all the money, who's breaking all the laws, whose church is which one, the real one to pray to, to get justice, or who is trying to take the whole world over, where, which country, and it looks like it's in Europe where you are, in Frankfurt, Germany, where all the Freemasons have ganged up on everybody in the world, and the Pope in Rome has ganged up on all everybody's birth certificates and called it his crypto. Okay, the, the Americans are going under Pope Francis as the crypto owner of the United Nations. Okay, and I'm saying he's got a green pound note on his head, the Pope, 970 million trillion trillion pound note, debt instrument, land, mortgage on his head and all his affiliates in their corporate world is liable now. Okay, Eddie Mitchell, you're liable, everybody in the corporate world, because you broke our corporate law of our flag to King William the Fourth, the king of all corporations with a corporation act of Westminster Parliament, 1835 Corporation Act, a Municipal Corporations Act, 1835 flag, and also the Constitution of New Zealand and the World Flag of King William IV, 1835. It's no other name for it. That's it. It's a king's flag for a king's job, and I'm doing the king's job for him while he's dead, lying underneath the ground, while I'm still alive, passing on the baton of law and order and LAW banks to bankrupt any bank in our road with that flag. That's what it's there for, to dissolve and liquidate anybody breaking our native magistrate King's Bench Court law of the native sovereign land. Okay, see, just like that. It's just like that in the corporate business world. When you start playing against another corporate, another corporate you'll trust is not safe anywhere. Whatever you say on video is not safe with Charlie. He knows his job to see if you committed fraud against the British Crown Big Daddy corporations of all corporations and our flag which is a British confederation of United Tribes of all ten New Zealand flag, King William the Fourth. Okay? And the Moai statue. That's for all the statues that around the world in the Stone Age world. We're speaking for all those Stone Age people in in all all the countries of the world where they have their stone memorials and the Moai is just one of them. The Moai, the corporation, the Rothschilds the Moai, out of all the other Moais, and uh, out of all the other memorials, why didn't they put a Buddha there, or another one with a human face on it? No, they picked the Moai because of the connection to the universe, and the Pope killed the Moai on Cardiff football field with the 
football and kicked it up in the air and it came down and they pulled the mower under the ground and said that's the end of the mower. That's how stupid the fucking people in England are to say to the Pope, oh, Moai's gone. No, Moai lives on forever. As long as that statue's in London, in the Great Court, with Elizabeth II Great Court, that still lives on. The mana, the power of God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, will still be the Ahu Whenua under his feet. He owns the land, the gold, the everything in the earth. And when he's buried up to his neck, that makes him the title to his earth planet right down underneath. Why haven't they got any other memorials like that stuck into the earth? No, they can't pinpoint it on the earth exactly where it's timed out in the right places. If you watch your mobile phone at 6 a.m. at the East Cape, Chipitl, watch your phone at 6 p.m. on Ghana or London, sync those two together with East Island at midday, 6 p.m. in Ghana, Africa, and 6 p.m. in London, and 6 a.m. in the morning at East Cape, the phones will, when you ring each other on another phone, they'll all sync together. They'll synchronize with the sun shining in three places. That's our title to the Maui statue standing in London. And that's me, me, all of me. I am we with it. I'm speaking for we out of me, I, all the time because I'm speaking to Maui, God up there to keep me true, honest to my word and my mouth talking. Don't worry about my teeth missing. Don't worry about that. It's just me talking to you and you to me on the video. Okay? I can't say it no better than that. And I don't have money on my brain until now. I have to learn all about money. I know about cars and things, but money is a different thing. In our Polynesian culture, we don't have money, God. We don't pray to money, God. But now, I'm just using the instruments of the money God in London, in Westminster, money God, and learn how to use the money God effectively, legally, and legitimately put anybody else out of business, violating our money law of King and Queen Victoria, okay? The trust versus the trust. The clean hands trust worse versus the dirty hands, like this. Flips all over the place, hyped up. It's like that. Blah, 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 Rich man, rich man, rich man, poor man, poor man, poor man, blah, 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 dollar, useless, right? This dollar is useless. Well, why did you get your wealth with it in the first place? Tell me that, Mr. Japanese. Where did you get your money from, that dirty money that you use? And you're liable to that now. You're liable. Your business, rich man, poor man, that business is liable for hidden money that you haven't paid the tax royalties to Britain. If those fellas say so, you're going to have to lose your business. If I say you're fraudulent with using fake money to fool people and not be fair one-sided trust and one-sided private equity of crypto, making your crypto money more valuable than everybody else's little bits of cryptos. Hmm? How come you big bragging mouse are taking the whole world on with dirty money, dirty hands and dirty money fiddling around? with people's lives and sticking a needle in them and devastating families and war and shooting everybody up and stealing the land then sticking people all over the bloody place mixing them all up so that you've got chaos that's you your bank your crypto your law is chaos that's all you are poor only which means mad in the head like biden and camilla stupid laughing person that's Sounds like a mouse. Okay, okay, that's all I want to say. And no pun intended. And anything I say 
is not to be used as evidence to help you to evade or, um, or violate tax laws or anything to do with money. I'm consulting the experts to teach me all about money, all about crypto, and all about the new British crypto law and the new updated laws of England, soil sovereign land. Okay, I'm there to protect their sovereign native land and every other country in 257 countries um, that have been affected by all the chemtrails, poison water, poison food, poison agriculture, poison animals, poison fish, poison, poison everything that's done by this lot of WEF people making business out of poison. Okay, they get this bill on their head. The 970 million trillion trillion pound note on their head, and that's the end of it. The trillion pound note on their head, too. Okay, each one has a trillion, no less. The more senior in position they are, like Tesla is worth more, then he gets the pound note on his head for any violations of corporate law. Okay, if he violates corporate law to Britain, not America, because America is hyped up they got tension and war in their blood and waste of time trying to talk to them because they'll rattle off on their own tangent and I've spoken to one already but I can't talk to anybody as a person um, free on this planet earth to do what they want, freedom of speech, freedom of the land that we share and that's what I want to do, share the land and trade um, legitimately and acceptable to the countries that join BRICS. Okay? They are a bit better to trust than the British government at the moment in Parliament and all the parliaments in the world running under the WEF. I can't trust them no more. I don't trust this government in New Zealand no more because of what they've done to go against human rights. <coughs> Winston Peters, I'm afraid you've gone against human rights and uh, with what you've done to sign with agreement with those people um, in the uh, World Economic Forum and the United Nations. You're, you're liable, okay? That's what I'm saying. You're liable for speaking for people who didn't want you to do that. And so the people shall rise and take their country back off you and boot you back into the sea where you come from. Okay? Okay, that's all. We'll see you later now. I'll end the video now. And uh, that was at 7.48 a.m. in New Zealand. And uh, ending the video right now. See you later. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of September 2024. Bye for now. You can see I stopped it. Now I've just got to wait for the instructions to say save the recording. It'll come up on there. So I'll keep the laptop going so I can tell you what's happening on the main um, Wix website and the Zoom. And uh, I'll just wait for the instructions to save the video. It'll, it'll tell me where to save it on my files. That's what I saw the last time. I saw it come up. My computer is slow. I have to get another new one. It's the same as that one, the little computer. And um, they're going cheap. So I'll just get another cheap one. I don't need the fast one. So long as it goes, and but it's full right up and I need a new one to start filling that one up to because I haven't been downloading um, everything uh, it's still in the cloud where's this video gone? there share host tools apps more more whiteboard, docs, pause, stop recording, pause,
stop recording stop recording recording stopped okay here i've just stopped it and i want to save it where's the save more um i want to save it the the thing will come up on the screen host tools record to computer right it's record to computer mm, I've, I've just pressed the record i should have went on there first Re reset I've got to wait for the recording thing to come up. Yep. Record to the computer. Record. Recording in progress. Recording stopped. Okay, I've got to save it. I've got to save it. Um, hang on. Share. Share. I've shared it to stream Outlook. Outlook. <coughs> right, um, chat. Participants. No, just only me, participant. Where's the video? There's the video. Choose video filter, video setting, webcam, adjust. Where's the save? in in meeting for all in meeting convert meeting recording convert meeting oh there it is you have a recording that needs to be converted before viewing okay it's recording now and a zoom meeting Stop converting. Oh, it's converting now. Oh, it's getting hot up there. Hang on, I'll take the laptop down. It's now pressing stop recording. So at the moment, it's it's recording. Convert meeting recording. You have a recording. Oh, there we go. One percent now. It's recording now. It's recording 1%. So it's going now. And uh, I know what to do there now. And uh, I'll just keep going and talking on the laptop just to talk a little bit more. So it's on that video. So there'll be two videos, one on the laptop and the other on the desktop. So I'm hoping the desktop will come out with the sound and at the moment it's recording what I just had as one hour and 49 minutes um, of video <coughs> convert meeting recording note after the file has completed converting if you choose to rename the file from the default naming convention, we recommend you use a renew unique file name. We recommend you do not use the word Zoom, personal meeting room, or my meeting when saving your meeting files. Oh, I see. I can't put meeting <coughs> or Zoom on the save file, so I'll just put. Um, Charlie um, 
Bering, Bering Paul. Um, um, money laundering uh, company um, advantage comply advantage and that's what I'll put so there I'm just talking straight to the laptop now and keep an eye on the recording 4% it'll take a little while to record so I can just talk on this video here is being um, at the moment um, we are just waiting to get recognized by the British Crown as legitimate or legal standing in what we're saying as claims of ischiat meant ischiat meant or a claim to everything I'm saying in a timeline of events to the British Crown back from um, our chiefs to King William the Fourth, to King George the Fourth, to King Ernest Augustus the First, to King William the Third of Orange, to King uh, William the First of um, of France, uh, 1066. So that's what we are here for: is to join our continuity of sovereignty to the Admiralty martial court martial law of uh, record of um, um, existence of original court of record to Westminster Parliament and Whitehall memorials okay so all those kings and queens that have come and gone that have gone there to set up the British Crown business corporation Crown estate that's all the money that's been made in Westminster Parliament and the court there, the Rolls Building Court and the Magistrate Court, King's Bench Court and also the District Courts have made money, collecting money and put it into the Bank of England and from there into the Treasury <coughs> and then dished out as loans um, to all the Commonwealth countries and the word colony the word native and the word confederation rings um, plenty of evidence of original title to native land colonized and put into the crown the crown is the other name the native the colony word colony and the word crown okay so there, that we're making an ischiat claim to the word native, the word colony, and the word crown. Those three words that makes up our ischiat. E S C H E A T meant M E N T or just plain ischiat claim to what I'm saying is our claim to the British Crown Estate business of its assets and its liabilities as well and a full account of it to wind it up and settle the account or keep it going and I suggest to our group to keep it going and keep our contract going with Westminster Parliament forevermore with our flag of King William IV and the British flag together as a binding on the Crown contract okay binding on the British Crown contract and the British Crown Westminster Parliament has defaulted on our partnership by taking our Crown business assets and the Treasury to Frankfurt, Germany. That was not supposed to happen while we we're in a contract. And we're using that default contract in the green pound note of King Ernest Augustus head on it, 970 million trillion trillion pound note, with him as a legacy to King Ernest Augustus the first, a head of Queen Victoria, and her crown we seize because of a default 
on their crown, the Queen Victoria crown, back into the King William the Fourth crown, the King George the Fourth crown, the King Ernest Augustus the First crown, the King William the Third crown, and the King William the First, uh, 1066 French crown. Okay, we're we're claiming back the German side of the King William the Fourth, King um, Ernest the, F the First, and King George the Fourth um, German side, and the Dutch side of King William the Third, uh, Dutchman Protestant Church and St Patrick's Church in Northern Ireland. We're claiming that back in our ST at to the Crown Corporation, eight point star on our flag, to pick up all the lease lands in the world after our native lease land here is settled. We're going to settle out for the right figure of 970 million trillion trillion pound note cap, top cap of what they owe us on the Queen Victoria's Crown business, estate and assets so we can seize all the assets to make up that much out of all the crown corporations on that side and i'm saying that is one billion out of eight billion people in the world is on that crown corporation of Rothschild bank and um, blackrock and vanguard and all those and tesla and all those corporations acting under queen victoria's title <coughs> for Rothschild Bank of England title that the Santander Bank is up against the Bank of England in debt instruments to pay the bill for violating our King's Emperor's flag, sovereign authority and jurisdiction. So we're holding the jurisdiction over all corporations in the world including jurisdiction over the American IMF, World Bank, and the WEF, WHO, and the CIA, FBI, and all those groups, corporations under Queen Victoria, and King William, the King Charles Corporation. All their corporations are fraudulent from 1837 onwards, and we're using all our power of authority of a corporation flag of King William IV to disempower them and liquidate them off our native lands in the world. That's affected, I say 250 countries because when the world turns around all that spraying in the sky is affecting 257 countries in the world totally poisoned by the air, the water and the food and the animals, the birds and everybody else that's affected by what this corporation under Queen Victoria and the Rothschild Bank of England and all the other banks, JP Morgan and all those uh, Merrill Lynch Bank and all those banks that are using the Bank of England's law of Rothschild. The owner of the Bank of England has got a problem now with us and the Santana Bank that <coughs> banks eat other banks up if they are found to be defaulted on contracts and I'm there as a contract person of real estate and bank brokering of, of um, past experience to know um, that I know what I'm talking about in that profession and now in the money profession I'm going into it green as hell and eager to learn at 75 years old it's not gonna stop me from learning some more while I'm on my two feet okay so yeah that's that so we are on 21% now on the recording so that will come out and I think I'll have a rest from this talking and uh, it'll be good <coughs> tomorrow I'll have a bit of luck with the video um, um, talk with um, Jamie um, Jamie Nuttall um, for <coughs> my
Myna, M Y N A accounting firm in London and all over the world that's doing the crypto world uh, investigations and and law. They passed a law to say that all crypto earnings that make a profit uh, is a capital gain on what you spend it when you spend it and invest it you have to furnish your accounts for spending the money in a bank and then receiving money in the bank to make a show a profit or a loss and why isn't America doing that you know why because it's full of fraud that's why that's what I'm saying my opinion is my opinion and my video to say that's what I think and what I think and say are two different things until it's found out to be true that the thing that the words that Jamie Dimon the JP Morgan Bank CEO director said quite plainly on his video and I keep that as evidence facts cited evidence that he said Bitcoin is a hyped up fraud and it is fool's gold and uh, and uh, so there yeah, that's that being said I believe what he says is the truth see I believe what comes out of his mouth what comes out of everybody's mouth is their truth they've got to stick by it because I'm using it as an affidavit in the native magistrate King's Bench Court and what do you say goes because when you make statements publicly it is recorded for everybody to see that you're saying something that exploits what you're doing. In fact, you are exploiting banks to make more money from crypto, and then you turn around and go and buy the very thing that you said is a hyped up fraud, and you go and buy them and tell people, don't buy Bitcoin. And then the price tumbles down, then you go and swoop it up like a vulture, and then you go and sell it again at a profit she buy low and sell high that's what the British taught everybody to do buy low and sell high so that's what I'm doing with the chip coin the Moai chip coin you're gonna do the same thing buy low and sell high to the people back to the people owners so that's what I'm doing not for me I'm doing this for the next generation so all the people that I want to join as claimants, I like to have all the apprentices, all the young people, because the old people is gone too far. They've gone, it's too hard to change them back. Too hard. It takes too long to teach an old dog new tricks. And the young ones are on the computer all the time. And you just tell them, do this and you'll make money this way, the clean way. Okay? Follow the rules and you'll be right. Don't follow the rules, you'll get in trouble and get locked up in prison in the dirty world of how they make money out of your birth certificate. So we're going to strip everybody of their old way and make them into a new way of owning something that God gave freely and it's not to be controlled by some dickhead that thinks they know everything in the world with AI and everything. We use AI too in a good way and Mr. Li in China is putting out lessons on AI. He was the AI for Google and now he is doing his own thing and teaching people the right way of AI. So I'll get in touch with him on a Zoom as well and I've got him on my website as well. The people in who I put up I want to talk to all those people I put up on my website. They, I can have a one-on-one -on -one and get to the bottom of where we're going with our little group of people that are learning and learning um, a better way. I wouldn't say the right way. I'd say a better way to know if it works for me, it will work for you. Okay, that's my philosophy is what I think is a good idea will end up a good idea and not high risk like America. There's high risk. High returns attracts high risk.
you'll stand to lose everything because that's what they're telling you in the Bitcoin and the crypto world in America. You stand to lose everything and they don't tell you otherwise why you lose. They just say press the wrong button and you lose. See? Just like a roulette table on a, in a gambling casino. That's all you see on the, on, on the internet. Gambling casinos. The dirty gambling and filthy people with no clothes on going around and making kids do the same thing. Making, exploiting kids for all the bad satanistic ways of bringing a kid up the way their brains are wired up to be like stupid people that turn themselves into a woman and a woman into a man. It's just stupid. You know, that's what I'm dead against, that sort of thing. Because when you go to church and look at somebody else that's not real, then why do you think, what the hell are you going to church for? To pray for what? To pray to make yourself into a woman? And the church is doing it too. The dirty Catholic church is doing that dirty stuff. They go and sleep with somebody else's wife and all that because I used to live next door to one. He used to muck around with every other woman and his wife is sitting at home doing that and crying her head off. You know, that's what they do. Mormons. The Mormons do that because he was a Mormon. So the Mormons go and knock on your door. Next minute they're in your house with your wife. You see? So those are the dirty things the Catholic Church and the Mormon Church and the Latter-day Saints Church promote, like Jacinda Dern is a Latter-day Saint. Then that church is upholding the dirty, filthy things she's been doing and saying on 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 camera and praising her to do this and that and stick the bloody needle in you and kill you. See, I'm calling her a straight mass murderer. Her and Ashley Bloomfield and 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 what's his name? That other Prime Minister used to be. That that one. The the ones that I put on, on online with their photos in there. All those ones with their photo in there around that stupid needle is got the money on their head. They got the bounty on their head to strip their land and everything that they are only squatting on. The land. The native land. And we'll forget about everything else. It's the native land that belongs to the people. The native born people of the country can't speak for themselves because these bastards are taking it for their own private use and their own families, like just like Eddie Mitchell, just for him and his family. And they live in million dollar mansions and at the expense of taxpayers. They don't pay tax because they got fucking lawyers and fucking barristers and fucking Freemasons helping them to break the law and steal, especially steal. And we will find out about that soon. And he's only one of them doing it. The rest of them are going to get liable if someone else complains to me in the court. You can get me anywhere, 24 hours a day, and put your name in the court. One day, when we get one court case done and gone through, we've got a few more court hearings to get through yet to go and chuck them all in the court and make them scream in the court and lose everything. When you go to court, you stand to lose everything because not worth going to fight against what I'm doing online because you're disclosed as a criminal money launderer phoenix activity person of interest okay so there we go that's it it's now 48 percent and I'll end this video on the laptop and develop that one first before that one finishes and so I can have some lunch and maybe go up to the gym and have a little run around in the pool and uh, in the gym and uh, get a bit of exercise, get out of here and do something. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye for now. Today, it's Wednesday, 25th of September, 2024. Two hours, 18 minutes, 36 seconds. The same as the last video. Long. Okay, bye for now.